We still going? I got eight XP on that ward. That's nice. Dude, I canceled my Q? His flash actually canceled my Q. Usually that goes through, even if they flash, I feel like. To most, life is fleeting. Oh, well, at least Samir still got him. We'll take it. I guess we're going to be down like 100 HP in this land. It's kind of a big deal. We'll try to heal up a little bit with Q, I guess. I carry these souls Doesn't really heal that much unless I'm below 50% HP, though. Go for that minion, we get tagged. I Q for sure. One can stare into the grave too long. I feel like it's gonna be kinda hard to land ease on Yeni. He has really good base movement speed. Storm of blades. An enemy has been slain. An eternal ring. Piercing wings. Ooh, nice. Didn't know if my Q was gonna be up in time. Wonder if we could dive this. Probably shouldn't, at least ends up here. Wait, I got the kill. Wait, how did I get the kill? I've come too far. I was trying to auto minions, man. Material items for the material world. Oh, I think maybe my corruption burn damage and then the minions killed him. Kind of funny how it worked out like that. Alright, not too shabby. Everyone got executed, so he only gets a kill. Death is not to be feared. Does anybody know if he can can he eat out of my my wall? I feel like he probably can't, right? Like can he dash through it? Maybe he can. I need to play for short trades right now. We lose extended trades pretty hard. Oh, he can eat out of the W? Okay, that's annoying. Tell me of the beyond in case I never make it. You decay and do not know it. Some of these faces I know well. The ruins of these islands Oh wow, you can also Q over it too. This seems like a really tough matchup. 
Oh, he's a goner, dude. Yeah, we got Ignite on him. Alright, let's summon this maiden and just push. It's a great time to get level 6. Make sure we Q that. You pretty much always want to Q on Yurik. It builds a grave if you last hit with it, but it also heals you a bit. Like, when I'm low HP, I get a 41 heal, and it's only 25 mana. So, pretty much want to use that on cooldown. Go for one more. I can walk out pretty early. Hopefully, he doesn't get my maiden, though. Sweet. Even a monk eats bread and water. That is a really good buy for me. You don't understand how Yurik ulti works, feel like it doesn't do anything when you use it. Uh you summon this maiden, and whenever she attacks, it like empowers your attacks as well. It's really nice too because it does magic damage. So yeah, whenever whenever I damage, like she just does damage on her own. But then it does that big chunk of magic damage. What is it? T second cooldown? Yeah, every two seconds. So if you take the person that she's attacking, it does a big burst of damage. Oh my god, dude. I did so much damage. Holy moly. We can probably get turret out of that. I'm going to be doing the uh, Triforce Hullbreaker build as well. So we're going to just go full split med. I should definitely get E second to Yoni. My W is kind of useless. So nice how the Maiden just constantly damages Terret, man. I remember back in the day, the Turret would focus your Maiden unless you had a Cannon Minion. I'm so happy they changed that. Alright, on the way. I wanted to drop Ignite for an assist, but I got the kill secure. I don't think my W gives me an assist unless it like knocks him aside. Like I'm pretty sure if you trap him with W, you don't technically get an assist. I guess I gotta be a little bit careful of Lee Sin coming up. Get that maiden out of turret real quick. Oh, that cancelled my Q again. Alright, I don't want my maiden to die. Let's just get out of here. I got a lot of gold to spend as well. Bruiser Yurik better. Bruiser Yurik is better than Lethality. I think Lethality can be really good. I've seen it pop off before. I definitely feel more comfortable with the uh, Bruiser Yurik though. I have way more games with Bruiser. I only have like four games with Lethality. Lethality Yurk, you have to be really good at landing E. I don't think it'd be very good against Yoni. 
That build just plays off like getting ghouls and landing E. You kind of just poke people down. Because your ghoul jump does so much damage. I don't know if I should go Titanic actually. I think I'm going to do Holebreaker second and then get a Grudge. That sounds good. Maybe we'll get Titanic late game, but I don't need it early. My wave clear is already so good if I got Maiden out. See, that's where Lethality would be really good. Like, he would have just taken like 800 damage. If I was going Lethality build. Dude, I was hoping that ghoul would get him. All right, flash, ulti. He's got just too many things to get away, man. It's like an Akali. This is where things get a little bit dicey when my maiden is down. I'm just going to reset. Definitely can't 2v1. I, I don't even know if I could 1v1 Yenny without Maiden. I think I need Maiden. Yeah, I didn't see... Did, did that one ghoul do the leap? Oh, maybe it did, actually. Yeah, I thought it was going to leap on him, but I think it already did. Yeah, seriously, Hive. Yoni's insane, man. Definitely Our one of the champions with a pretty overloaded kit. To pay to cleanse this land. Lethal Tempo actually makes him a pretty decent early game champ. I remember before Lethal Tempo, like his early game was miserable. That's what kept him kind of balanced. But he was still really good mid late. Nice level 2 maiden. Level 2 maiden is a lot better than level 1 maiden. I know it's kind of obvious, but like it gets way better. It feels similar to Mundo, where like your level one ulti feels kind of bad, but level two feels really good. Oh, dude, if I land that E, we can TV one right now, I think. Take that. Not bad, not bad. My shutdown does go to Yunny though, that's kinda scary. Yeah, this is exactly what we want to do on Yurik though. Just pull everybody over to me. Um I probably start probably start wanna working on I probably wanna start working on bot lane towers. Shut down. Don't know why that was so hard to say. Um let's see, should I go grudge third? Yeah, let's do a grudge. That sounds nice. Is not given. It is earned. The nice thing about grudge on Yurik is the your maiden just perma applies it. And then I also have a approach so it's gonna permanently speed me up. Dominating. It's really good synergy with approach. I guess right now we should actually go top. Because Yoni's like already splitting. So we need we need to get the wave pushed out before I get bot.
guy's kind of greedy. We can probably kill him. That is kind of nice how I can use my W on his E, though. And then the only way he gets out of it is if he has a second Q built up for the dash. I guess he has to use his E first, but it's pretty nice if he does. So I'm going to wait till those ghouls are pushing, and then we can summon these. And those ghouls will still be pushing. The four ghouls is only... It's only if they're near you. So, like, technically, you could have ghouls in every single land. But you can only have four near you at all times. I probably should have taken the Shelly, actually. That'd be pretty good if I was just split in. Which is what I plan on doing. Maybe get this dragon real quick. I am the first and last of my order. I cannot move, guys. Oh my god, look at that Q damage. Was that 700 damage? Kind of feeling like Lethality Eric this game. Yeah, my Sheen does 500. I guess we have the Maiden proc on him as well. So yeah, that's about 800 damage. Surrender vote? Are you serious? Oh, cause she died. What's one more grave? Dude, turrets are literally just paper to Yarek. That's so nice. Well, there's the grudge. That was quick. Um, let's see. Do they have a lot of mixed damage? Cleaver would be pretty nice. Death Dance would be pretty nice. Death Dance would be nice if I'm team fighting. Which, honestly, we're probably going to start doing soon because we're kind of getting all their towers. So, yeah, let's start building into that. The ruined king will soon meet the victims of his curse. The new Goliath mythic on Yurik? I don't think it'd be that good on Yurik because you want to play to split push. Also, you kind of want that Sheen proc, too. Like, I got 1,400 damage just off the Sheen proc. That's so good with your Q. Samira moment. Dude, I'm flashing. So sketchy. Sorry, buddy. I think I can stay with this red buff heal, though. Get some Q heals. Pretty sketchy. We gotta be careful. That Grudge is so nice, man. I think Yurik is one of the best users of Grudge. My name, for one day I will not. It's so helpful. Baron's a really good call. We could do it pretty quick. This mist has we can just turn and fight if they come over. <laughs> I think we can do it before they actually get here. I can zone him out with my W as well. Make 
make sure that maiden heals up. It's funny how your ghouls and maiden get the home guard effect, too. Looks like they're drifting. From the ground they come. It's like a tire they driving on their rims. When he got no tire left. Get my demolish rock in. It's kind of risky though. I'm trying to keep my maiden alive, dude. It's kind of playing a little too aggressive right now. The maiden always follows behind you, so you want to keep that in mind with like how you angle your character. Like if I angle this way, it's gonna go behind me and run into them. But if I go this way, then it goes behind me here, so you can just turn, right? It can be kind of awkward when you're trying to like I guess siege a tower because sometimes you got to run away but then your maiden follows behind you your team has destroyed an inhibitor legendary oh she's keeping to my maiden it's gonna freeze it nice all your game dude That was actually really nice. How does the maiden healing work? It only works on a... You can only heal it with the fountain. If you just recall. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any like HP regen. I, I kind of wish they would do that. I think they should either give it a little bit of HP regen or it should heal like based on your Q damage. Like, it maybe gets a little bit of heal when you do Q. I think that would be cool. Let's see. 16k damage. What was my turret damage? That's the real stat on Yurik. 17.4k. We had more turret damage than champion damage. Yeah, that's a classic Yurik game. Freed by Shade. 